What's up, dads, men? Even if you're not a dad, this is for you. Today, we're going to be talking about how to become a fit dad, an alpha male, uh, get rid of the dad bod, become a dilf, become this Greek god in, in some sense. Okay, so I'm going to talk about what most men do initially and then what happens when we do it the right way. So let me just share my screen here really quick. Whoop. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. So let's say, for example, you want to, all right, I got to get in shape for vacation. I don't want to look like a fat mess on the beach and I got to get into shape. I want my wife to look at me and, you know, I want some. So what, you know, you want to lose weight for this vacation. So you say, all right, we're going away way at the end of the month. So I'm going to go on this crash. Diet. I'm going to do a bunch of cardio and I'm just not going to drink and I'm going to just eat nothing. I'm going to eat vegetables and, and, and that's it. I'm going to eat a little bit of protein. So typically what happens they start at a 200 pounds at 30% body fat. Remember, body fat's the fat that we see in the mirror. So when you don't like the way you look, that's body fat, okay? So now you go on this crash diet for four weeks and boom, you drop 30 pounds. You're looking at the scale, you're like, wow, that's a huge win. I lost 30 pounds of fat, look at me. But you're still unhappy with yourself. You still look at yourself and you're like, why do I still feel fat? I'm down 30 pounds, but I feel more flabby. I don't feel like tight. I don't look like a Greek guy. What the hell? Well, it's because you went on such an extreme fat loss. You did way too much cardio. You lost 30 pounds of just muscle mass and water. Your body fat never changed. I know you sound like, oh, how could that be? I lost 30 pounds because you started at 140 pounds of muscle. Okay, because the rest of the remaining of that is, you know, fat, bone, this and that. So at the end of it, because you did such a crash diet and because you did too much cardio, you lost a lot more muscle mass. So now you're down to 119 in muscle mass. Okay, so what that means is you are now a skinnier fat version of yourself. In fact, you're probably actually even more out of shape now than you were before. Okay. So that's an ineffective body fat reduction plan. I see this all the time. And this is a huge problem for men because we're trying to look like a Greek god on the beach. You want your wife to look at you with lust, right, men? That's what you want. You want your wife to look at you and say, wow, look at my husband. We get back to the hotel room. Mm -hmm. So this is what we actually need to do. Whoops, wrong chart. So let's say you click that link below right? You click that link below in the description and you hop on the call with me and we get you started on the right plan. Okay. So now, all right, you're saying 200 pounds of 30% body fat. So I get you, instead of doing a bunch of cardio, instead of doing all this wastefulness, right? I get you on the right plan. I teach you how to be flexible with your food choices so you can actually eat the foods that you want to eat and still make progress. So now, you're at 200 pounds, 30%. I get you lifting a couple of days a week. You're actually in the gym. You're, you're being an alpha male in the gym. You're moving more weight. You're benching more. You're deadlifting more. All these movements that make you feel alive. You know, those are the things you need to be doing. So we dropped that same 30 pounds, but now instead of being 20, 30% uh, body fat, you're 10% body fat. Now you really, you should have abs forming. You look like a Greek god. Now your wife is going to see you and be like, how did he get in such good shape? I want to do that too. And then she'll click the link in the description. So, but what happened here? What was the difference? Well, now you're going to be eating more protein. You're probably going to be eating more food than you were eating here, right? You're going to be lifting more. You're going to, it's going to take a little bit more time and dedication, but now you're up 14 pounds of muscle. That's significant. That's a lot. You're going to totally change the way your body looks and you're going to morph. But here's the difference, my friends. See? This ineffective body fat way, and you lost the same 30 pounds, but it, only, it took you four weeks, okay? This transformation is going to take you about 12 weeks. So three times the effort and time, but it's three times the effort and time worth it because this is the way that you need to actually get into shape. When we lose body fat, that's the fat that you see in the mirror. This is way more important for changing the way you look to become a different male to become that role model for your kids and to become that, that man that your wife had married, right? And getting, gaining back your body. Again, like I said, three times the time, but it's more effective. And this is the actual result that you're looking for. Okay. So I know what you're probably thinking, well, how long is this process going to take? Well, when we do it the right way, okay, here's another chart for you. 
All right. So when we do this the right way, okay, it really is going to depend on what your starting body fat is. So let's say, gentlemen, you're at uh, whatever, 20% and you want to lose 10 pounds. Okay. So 20%, 10 pounds, it's going to take you about 10 weeks to do that. But remember this 10 pounds is going to actually be fat that you see, like when you grab on your stomach, like that's the type of fat that you're going to see that you're aiming to lose. So you need to keep that in mind. This is the right way to do it. So gentlemen, I don't want you guys hopping on any of these so-called fad diets. I really don't want this stuff happening to you. Okay. And I see it happen all the time to men. And remember, gentlemen, when you lose muscle, you are taking steps away from being that symbol that you really want to be and being that ultimate male that you once were. Okay. You need to do it the right way. You need to click that link in the description so you can learn how to do it correctly. And honestly, this is time well worth it because you're going to be building a better physique. You're going to be building uh, the foundation for your kids to even look at and say, wow, my daddy's in good shape. I want to work out like my dad. My kids all the time work out with me. You know, they'll come down in my gym and they'll, they'll work out with me. And it's just good school, you know? And again, people notice when you have that physique because it takes that type of dedication. So gentlemen, hopefully this video helps you and it reminds you of what you shouldn't be doing in order to get in good shape to become that, to get rid of the dad bod, to become that fit dad. And so remember, don't just watch these videos and do nothing. I want you to go out there and take action on everything. I'll catch you gentlemen on the next one.